Hi there you, my beginning friends, Halloween is coming, that is why I will show you this tutorial for beaded spiders from Delica Beads. I'm providing a free pattern and I'm showing step by step, so if you're not familiar with beading at all, with brick stitch that I'm showing here, using patterns, don't worry, you will be able to make them by yourself. If you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't. And in this way, you will be inspired often, usually twice or three times a week, and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations and share them with the community here on YouTube. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are Delica Beads, the size is 11.0 and I'm using black and yellow colors. And here I'm using earring findings in this old gold or old copper color. This is Nymo nylon thread, which is size D. The thickness is 0.2 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle and this is a pattern that I provide for free and you will also see it here at this corner during the video. Okay, so now I'm going to take a comfortable length of thread on my needle. And later you could add more thread. I have a lot of tutorials where I show how to add more thread. If you don't know, just ask me in the comments. Okay, and I'm also using scissors. And now I'm going to start with my work. And I'm going to start, guys, with the brick stitch. If you're not familiar with it, don't worry, because I'm showing step by step and everything will be clear. Okay, so now uh, I will start with this row. And the first row will be the most tricky one, but I'm sure you will be able to make it. Okay, it consists of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven yellow beads. Here, when it, where it is white, I'm using yellow. Okay, so now first I will start with two beads. And in this tutorial, I will be showing how to make expanding and increasing brick stitch. Okay. So let me start. I'm taking these two beads and here guys, I will leave a tail that's long enough later to add my earring finding. Okay, maybe 10 inches of tail. Okay, so now I'm going backwards through this yellow bead, just like this. You see what I have? I have two beads added next to each other. Holes are pointing in this direction and they are touching. Okay, this is what I have. Now I'm going through the second one of those two. And in the same manner, I want to add seven beads. Okay, this is the third one. Then I go back slowly through it. And then I take another one, which is the fourth. Go back slowly through it. It is one and the same thing. And I'm going to repeat this three more times. Okay guys, so I have seven beads in a row and what I want to do next is reinforce these uh, uh, joints here. Okay, and how I do this, I just go back through all of the beads in this direction. Okay, now I'm flipping like this and I'm going to take my pattern 
that you will also see here. And after this row of 7 beads, it comes a row of 8 beads. And here I'm going to be showing you the first row of expanding brick stitch. And I always start the brick stitch with 2 beads. And here the first 2 beads are 2 yellows. So I take 2 yellows. And you see here I have thread bridges here. You see? And I'm going through the first one of those thread bridges. Always when I expand and make expanding brick stitch, I always go through the first thread bridge. Okay, like this. And I go through the bit that is closer to the center of my work. Closer to my thread also. Okay. And when I add it, I have this. You see how this is uh, done these first two beads and then after that I will add one by one all the other beads. Okay, now I have black and two yellows. Adding them one by one. Black going under the next thread bridge. Then through this bead itself. And then I said I will add two yellows, one yellow go under the next thread bridge through the yellow bead and add one more yellow okay okay so I'm here, I added this black and these two yellow beads and now I need black and two yellows also. Okay, I'm taking the black, going through the following thread bridge, I'm adding them one by one. Then I'm adding one yellow in the last thread bridge. And I need one more yellow. And where should I add it? At the same place at the last thread bridge. Since I don't have any other thread bridges, here is where I add it. Okay, you see? What I do is that I flip my work. Okay, and I'm here up to the next row. Here I could flip my work because you see uh, here this part is the same as this part. So it doesn't matter if I flip off or if I don't. And because I'm right handed, it's easier for me to go in this direction. And you see here I have three yellow beads. But here it is a little bit different because besides this expansion with one bead or be besides this increasing with one bead, I have here another. So first I'm going to add these two yellow beads and then I'll show you how I'm adding this additional one. Okay, so I will take these two yellow beads like this and I'm because I increase, I go through the very first thread bridge like this. And then I go through the one that is closer to my needle and to the center of my work. Now you see, according to the pattern here, I have these two added, but I need to add this one. And how I add it, it's not difficult. And I think you could guess just go through this yellow one, take one, go back like this, through it, and add it the same way like you did the first row. And then you could come again at this point. Okay, this is the magic of increasing brick stitch, okay? And now I have black, yellow, black. And I will show you how I'm adding this one slower. Black and under the next thread bridge. Okay. 
yellow and under the next thread bridge black again and under the next thread bridge Okay, and now I'm up to here and I need yellow, black and three yellows and I'll show you faster this one. Okay, and I'm back for the last uh, two yellows. Okay, this one I'm adding at the same thread bridge that I added the previous one. And I go back. But here I need three yellows and I don't have any more thread bridges. Okay, so I take this one and go like this. Okay. Now I need to do some repositioning of my thread. I need to exit out of this bead in this direction. In order to do this, I'm going through some beads in this direction. Okay, like this. Then I'm going through this one and through the following. Okay, like this. Then in order to come at the last one, I go through this and I go through this. Now I'm repositioned to start my next row. I'm starting it from here. Okay, and I'm going to flip. Okay, and now my next row is expanding with one bead. So I'm going to take a yellow and a black. And I go here. It's expanded only with one bead. That is why I'm not adding any additional beads. I'm just adding the first two. Okay. When you expand, you could expand with one, two, three, as many beads as you want or your pattern requires. Okay, so here I need yellow, black, yellow. Okay yellow yellow black yellow and you will also see it here and now i need two blacks yellow black yellow black and yellow and i'll be back here for the last one just follow this pattern from here on add those beads and meet me here okay guys and i'm here at the end where i should add the last yellow in the same thread bridge where I added the black one before that. Okay, you see, this is what I have and now I prefer to flip. Okay, now in the next row, I'm going to show you decreasing brick stitch and I will start it again with two beads, yellow and black. So I'm going to take a yellow and a black. And there are just a few small differences between the increasing and the decreasing brick stitch. You see now I'm exiting out of this yellow and I want to go through, not through the first thread bridge, but through the second. This is the first difference between the increasing and the decreasing brick stitch. Now I also go through this bead that is closer to the center and to my needle, which is the same step. And the additional step is that I go one more time through those beads. One through the yellow. And two through the black. Why I'm doing this? 
I do this because you see how now they uh, stay like this, not cl not close to each other, but they are stretching. This is because I'm going through the second thread bridge and they stretch a little bit. That's why I need to make this new thread pad. Okay. Now it is the same thing here. So I added this yellow and this black and now I need yellow. One, two, three, four, five blacks. Yellow, black, yellow. And I will add those beads uh, and I'll be back. Pause on this video and uh, add this sequence of beads from here until the end and meet me. And here guys you see I added all of the beads in this row and here because I decrease I won't add another one at the last thread bridge but only these beads. Okay now I'm going to flip. And now guys what I have are two more rows of decreasing brick stitch. Okay now I'll show you one more time how I started because this is the difficult part. Here I need a yellow and a black and I go here under the second thread bridge. And you see, now here is the additional step where I'm going one more time through those beads, making them stay flat and in a better shape. Okay, so now I'm going to make all of those beads, to add all of those beads that are eight and one yellow and I'll be back. Okay, and here I am where I'm adding my last yellow bead at my last step here and I'm going to flip and now I will make this middle row which is two yellows, five blacks and two yellows and I'm going to start with the two yellows and show you one more time the decreasing brick stitch go through the second thread bridge then through the bead that is closer to my needle and then one more time through those beads it is done only with the decreasing brick stitch because the beads in the beginning stretch and need to be tightened up and straightened with a new thread pad. And now five black and two yellows and I'll be back. Okay and this is the last yellow one that I adding. Okay flipping. And now increasing brick stitch, yellow and a black. And I think you know how you do this, but I will show you the first step only. And it is easy one because I'm not making the additional step. Okay, yellow, black. And now you need seven more blacks and one yellow. And I will let you do this, this row and this row, which are only increasing brick stitch. And I'm sure if you pause on this video or watch this pattern here, you will be able to make them. Then I'll be back for this decreasing because it's a little bit different. And so when I'm up to here, I'll be back. Okay, and I'm ready with this row and I flip. And I start this row here and I'll be back. Okay, and I'm ready with this increasing row as well. And I'm going to flip and I will make this increasing row and then I'll be back. Okay, guys, now I did this increasing row. I'm going to flip and I'm going to start this decreasing row. And the catch I mentioned is here at the next one. Okay, so I will take two yellows. I will go here through the second thread bridge. 
and I go back through this one and I make the mentioned reinforcement that I do only when I decrease. Okay, go through those beads one more time. Just to remind you how I'm making the decreasing brick stitch. Okay, uh, this is what I do. And now I have one yellow, one black, three yellows, black and three yellows. Okay, I'll make them and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I finished this row. You see this one here. I have two more rows to go. And in order to make them, again, I'm flipping my work. And now I want to add these two beads and decrease. But you see, I'm not adding them from here like I did in my previous decreasing row. But I'm adding them from my second bead at, and on. So what should I do? I should reposition my thread so it goes out in this direction but from the second bead. And how could I do this? Let me see. I will go in this direction through those two beads. You see? Then I will flip a little bit and I'm going through this black and through this one here, through the second one. And why I did this? Because here the decreasing is coming from the second bead and on. So now I will take two yellow beads and I will make this decreasing. I will go through the second thread bridge from here. So it's the third thread bridge from the beginning of the row and the second thread bridge from where I'm exiting. And now I will go through this yellow backwards to the other one and one more time through this one. Okay. Now I need black, two yellows, black and two yellows. I will make them and I will be back. Okay guys, and I just did this row and now I need to make the last row which consists of seven beads and it is the same like this one. And I'm going to flip, I'm taking two yellow beads and because I decrease I'm going through the second thread bridge and I go back through the one that's closer to the center of my work and I reinforce one more time the beads here and now I'm going to add five more beads in this direction and I'll be back okay and here I am with my last bead from my work this is the very last one and I'm going here and please like share and comment this work if you like it okay so now I go in this direction I want to cut my thread but before I cut it I want to go through some beads zigzagging. With this work you don't need to make knots. Of course if you feel like making a single knot don't worry go on and do this. But now I'm going to show you how I'm zigzagging through my work and I'm not making any knots. Now I'm going to cut my thread as close as possible to my work. Now my earring is almost ready. I just need to add the earring finding. This is why I'm going to put my needle here at this end. Okay, and this is the tail thread that I uh, left here just to be able to attach my earring finding. And now I want to reposition my thread so it goes out from the second bead here and how I do this I go through these two yellow beads in this direction and then I go through this black and through this yellow in this direction diagonally. 
now I want to add my earring finding. I take four yellow beads. I take my earring finding, go through it, and I'm going to slide those down. Okay, then I take four more. And I go in the same place in the second seed bead here. Now I have my earring finding attached. And what I need to do is go through those beads zigzagging because I want to reinforce my work. Okay, and you could do this, let's say, two or three times. And now what I want to do is again zigzag through my work a lot of times. And when I'm ready, I go through some beads in this direction, okay, like this, and I cut my thread and my spider out of Delica beads is ready. Okay guys, now my Halloween spiders out of Delica beads are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't. And in this way you will know when I make new tutorials and matching tutorials to the ones that I have already done and you'll be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in the description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.